So this is a uh, fairly typical patient that we uh, frequently see, a 61-year-old uh, Caucasian female, never smoker, who presents with shortness of breath and cough, is found on x-ray to have a large right upper lobe mass as well as some other smaller vague nodules. Her physical exam is fairly unremarkable. There are no palpable nodes. Her lungs are relatively clear. CAT scan confirms a fairly large right upper lobe mass with multiple uh, bilateral uh, pulmonary nodules measuring up to one to two centimeters. And as part of her staging, fairly routine in this day and age, she undergoes a MRI which shows uh, multiple, albeit asymptomatic, uh, brain metastases. Uh, we look at our newly diagnosed patients with uh, metastatic lung cancer, upwards of 15 to 20 percent will often present with uh, brain metastases. As part of her workup, she undergoes a core biopsy of the right upper lobe. This confirms adenocarcinoma. It's TTF1 positive, which is generally the case in about 75 to 80 percent of those with uh, uh, adenocarcinomas of pulmonary origin. And uh, our index suspicion for a driver mutation goes up in light of her uh, non-smoking history. And in fact, uh, her tumor does harbor EGFR mutation, specifically in exon 19. Further workup shows that she, her tumor is ALK negative and, of course, uh, negative for KRAS mutation, KRAS and EGFR being virtually non, uh, mutually exclusive. Uh, she starts treatment in uh, June of uh, 2017 with a fatinib and uh, does quite well. Uh, updated scans of her chest show uh, marked shrinkage in the right upper lobe mass, uh, similar shrinkage or disappearance of many of the pulmonary nodules. And her brain metastasis, in the absence of whole brain radiation or uh, gamma knife or stereotactic radiation, also show uh, shrinkage on follow-up uh, brain MRI. And she, as of March 2018, nine months after the initiation of treatment, she's continuing to do quite well.